So I don't know if any of you know how to sharpen a chainsaw. I know a lot of people take a chainsaw somewhere to get sharpened. I would never do. I've never done. We used to always sharpen it by hand with a file. Well, I don't have just regular file, but if I had a file, oh, here it is. So if I have a regular file, you have to match the angle to the tooth. I've done that for years, but you can't. So this is <clears throat> the one in front right here is called the rake tooth. And it cleans the stuff out of the cut before this cutting tooth comes in there. So it's always you got to get a separate gauge or whatever to put on there so you can keep those down. Because you get them too deep, it's just going to stall the chainsaw out. So I bought one of these. <clears throat> I think it's called a three-in-one. I think it's two-in-one. And so it has, first of all, it is the angle that it needs to be. And then there's a mark part way in, so you can see if you get your angle right. Fly on my ear. So you just lay, so you see the arrow on the, you see that, that is right above that round file underneath the flat file. This one here is the back side of it's cutting the rake tooth. This one here is cutting your regular tooth. This is when you go from the other direction, on the other side. You have to do each side <clears throat> of the chain because one tooth is this way, one is this way, one is this way. They're back and forth. So you lay this on here and, well, I'm so sorry I should be using two hands. Obviously, I'm not. Okay. So let me just show you, and that's how that goes. And this may fall over. And put the brake on there. Apply your brake. So you need every other tooth. I just pull it back a little bit. And it releases it. And this way here, you get it even cut on every one, and you'll get a lot more out of your chain. These chains are expensive. I don't know how much, but I know I'm gonna have to need them soon when I start my next I start cutting for my firewood. But it's really a and and also vice. Yeah, it's pretty well. You pretty well gotta do that. And we'll see when you get back to your where you started. I already did a few. Yeah, so that one there I already did. Then, <clears throat> now you're going to do the other side. Make sure when you clamp this in here that you're not hitting the bottom of the vise with your teeth and dragging them across the... So it's free. I realize you can't see. But for Now I've flipped it over. Uh, go on. Wait a minute. See, there's a reason for this. And you'll feel it bite in. It's just skating across the top of it, and you're putting it on the wrong. So you shouldn't be taking it anywhere to get it done. You should be able to do this yourself. Also, going to tighten this chain up so there's just a little bit of space here that's a little loose right now but it's just easier to sharpen it that way that's all so i gonna make sure this is adjusted right um adjustment on the side of it this is a steel so and that file kit is a steel all right well it doesn't yeah it does it does say it on there so they go together it's a good saw it's all i've had um I had one that my son had. It was 1983. He just kind of finally ditched it a couple of years ago. So that's it.